YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of the newly released Zaku 1 Char version from Gundam Origins. Now, this was released today, and I just finished building this kit. Now, this kit was pretty different, or it was not the, exactly what I had in mind, because there were some different um, perspectives or aspects that I did not expect to see from this kit. So, let's go on to the review. Now, once you get, uh, once again, what you get from the kit is, of course, from this is the Char Zaku 1. The main selling point, the belt fed, fed or belt feeded uh, machine gun, as you can see, I will get into that detail later. You get a decal sheet without any more stickers. As usual, I use the mono eye and then other the other Xeon symbols and the big numbers as well. I did not use any of those white line decals this time because this one seems unnecessary. You get some extra poly caps, not much, but yeah. You get two heat hawks, which is one is the opened up version, and the other one is the uh, one that you can put on the side skirts. Once again, this also has a hole for that, and you can just attach it here, and it works pretty much the same as any other Xeon kit from Origin. So I'm not going to show this part in detail. I'm actually going to take it away. You get some extra hands. Now, currently, I am using a trigger hand for the machine gun, and there's a, your standard hand for the left side. You also get one for the right side, and then you also get an open hand for the left for various poses. So once again, that's it. And on my last review of the Bugu, I forgot to mention about this part. This is also included in the Bugu, where uh, if you see the kit, the under part of the kits, there's no hole for an action base. So this comes into place where you just clip it onto that part, and then you attach an action base to this. So just letting you guys know, I forgot to mention that. And one thing that really, really uh, did not I did not ex expect is these. As you can see, this these are all the leftover parts. Now they're, they're like parts for the shoulder, which um, there's no the one that doesn't have any spikes, but a different color tone where it's not your um, spike color, but more of the body color. Uh, there's parts for like the backpack, uh, legs. Even for the arms as well, arms, even there's some sort of part that looks like an inner frame of the shoulder. So I'm assuming that this is not only base, this is not a recolor of the Zaku 1, but also um, they also use parts from the Shar Zaku 2. So I'm the best way I can explain this is like this is a mixture of a Za Shar Zaku 1 and Shar Zaku 2. That's the best way I can put it in, okay? Um, because I have been getting a lot of comments or people saying that uh, this one looks like basically a Zaku 2 with a Zaku 1 head so and you are technically correct in a way but I will get into that part later now I got rid of the pieces now let's get on to the review um, now for the head some may be already expecting some may not the head is just your typical uh, Zaku head from other origins or any other uh, Xeon origin kit that you got besides the Bugu where the Bugu for example here we go has the you know moving mono eye when you twist the head however this one does not have that it's just uh, basically if you lift up the head there's a small swivel system inside there and you just control the mono eye in any position that you want to put so so that's letting you guys know and I also use the decal sticker for the eyes 360 is possible technically it is possible however Oh, okay. I, I actually did this like a few moments ago. There we go. It is possible. However, the neck there's a besides the polycap neck part. There's another part that's on top of the poly um, neck connector. So it might be tricky to do that time to time. And I don't think it's really necessary for this kit. Um, the body is just your standard body, but um, it has your typical movement on the body where this part moves a little bit, and then you have the forward and backward of the um, arms. And the main arm is connected to a poly cap, and then there's a ball joint on the arm, so it connects that. It's connected to the main body to a poly cap, and it can go forward that much. Once again, I, I use the decals number eight, the Xeon symbol, and other uh, other decals as well. It has a double jointed arm, so 360 is no problem at all. 360 no problem. And the hands are connected to your typical ball jointed hand, so no need to worry on having weird hands. It has your typical 360 joint or you know twist. 
Uh, same for the other arm, but the shoulders are a little bit different. Basically, the way how these connect, there's, this is the most movement that you can pull off from the spiked part. The shield, there's some movement. It, it kind of feels loose, but it's not really loose, just to let you guys know. It, it feels loose, but yeah, it can pretty much move any part you want, but not too much. And I will just explain the machine gun right away. Now, this is the main selling part of the, the kit, the, chain, the belt fed machine gun. Now, the way how this works is that... Um, you see this part, this part is some sort of rubber material and the inside is actually connected to the main handle of the machine gun. So you just snap it together and you're, it's connected and the other side is inside this part and this part on the, it's connected to the bottom section of the backpack. As you can see you can take it off and the way how this connects is that you have these two pegs and there's two holes be below the backpack all you need to do is just connect it so if you have any other zakus that has the same you know, hole beneath the uh, backpack i'm pretty sure this is possible so yeah there's nothing too special and the machine gun seems like it is hindering the movement and sort of yes it can go up that much but twist 360 with the machine gun is not possible uh even though you bent it I, it's not possible to go 360 I don't know even why would you would want to go 360 as well now usually I, I explain the accessories at the later part but there's not much to explain so I'm showing it now just letting you guys know and there's a scope that can move a little bit here and there's a front there's a handle on front of the machine gun where you can make use the both hands to make it look like it's holding in two hands like this uh, give me a moment no oh, come on Oh, there we go. You can make it look like it's holding in two hands or two arms. There we go. Uh, the the waist. Now, what I really like about the Zaku One is that the lack of cables on the waist because I'm not a big fan of those cables. Okay, 360 is possible as you can see, but um, I don't know if it's really necessary. And be careful since the the below section does get you know kind of get hindered in the front part so it might fall off time to time and it's i don't know for me i've i took it off a few times so it doesn't feel it's starting to feel a little bit unstable but when once you put uh push it in first it's uh, it has a very strong connection so no need to worry mine just mine is just starting to wore out because i have been taking it off and uh, in and out multiple times okay now let's see the waist the waist is pretty much the same as a typical zaku from origins or from a goof or whatever other young kits you build from origins the side skirts are connected to a ball joint the front skirt can go front pretty a lot individually the legs can go 90 degrees in front and has a double joint but because of the design this is as far as you go maybe about 120 degrees i, I if i had to guess it can go out 90 degrees to the side if you want to do so. Okay, let's see what else should we talk about. Um, the yeah, uh, also it has that uh, what you call it this swivel part for the legs itself, so it can go for it can move the or change the entire leg position if you want. It can go like that. Okay, and the feet are just your typical ball joint connected feet. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the kit itself. Once again, um, I also put this decals here. The, you don't really get too much. And I was hoping to get the exact same shield from that we got from the Bugu, like this one, but I guess not. Um, now, if I had to say this, this is a very basic kit, and I don't think it's really worthy for those who already have the Sharzaku 2 from Origins. But if you don't have the Sharzaku 2, I say this is a pretty good kit to get as well. Now, uh, before I end the video off, I should explain that now a lot of people have been commenting that this is a basically Zaku 2 with a, with a Zaku 1 head, and you are partially correct. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have the Sharzaku 2 from or Origins, but I do have the Master Grade version of the Sharzaku 2 2.0. And okay, the color scheme is very different. The Master Grade version or the original color scheme was like pinkish, but as but this one is like a hmm, how should I say this? Maybe a a cherry-ish red color instead of pink. And as you can see, it doesn't. Uh, the Zaku 2 has cables on the legs, and this one does not, and on the body as well, and does not. And of course, as the face. 
Now, um, yes, I do intend to do a review on this kit someday, but every time I try to make a review of this kit, something goes up, so something comes up, so I'm still delaying it. Anyway, yeah, so it is almost technically Zaku 2, but at the same time, not really, so it, it's really up to your choice, your taste. Basically, I somehow like this version better than the normal Zaku 1, and I and then compared to the Zaku 2 as well. So that's why I went for this, but this is not really necessary for anybody, for everybody, but those who are just interested, that's what I would like to say. Anyway, yeah, uh, thank you for watching my review for the Sharzaku 1 from Origins. This is a very basic kit, uh, recommended for pretty much any Xeon collector out there or anybody who's into the like Shars mobile suit. So yeah, um, the price is, isn't that bad compared to the quality, but we do lack some equipment which you only get a machine gun and heat hawks. It would have been nice if we got some extra, like another shield like the Bugu or like a bazooka, but oh well. Anyway, thank you for watching my review. If you enjoyed the series or video, please like my videos and also subscribe to my channel. I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews out of, so please stay tuned. Well, until then, see you guys next time!